We moved it. We did it. We did it. It looks spectacular. Okay, it's been forever since we've done an actual vlog. We've been busy with uh, the blade shades. Ken sent me a picture of what he's done to the cave. Uh, he took something we had before and really put it on display. I was giving him a hard time because it was something crazy cool that was not being best showcased at the cave. Uh, no personal fan cave, man cave out there has this that I've seen. So I felt like it was wasted that he wasn't using it in its right place. So. I'm going to show you guys what he's done, where he's put it in, really what it is, so. And the old Zamboni. I don't even know if we've actually picked up a, picked a name for that thing yet. Zammer. Mr. Clint Easton, good to see you. Come in. Hello. Around what he can. What? I'm on. You're always on here. I told the camera that you have used something, done something to the cave, and I was giving you a hard time about it not being used to its best, of, you know. Yep. And so now it is. Now it is. And it took about six hours to move it. Me and Hank, two old guys, using using what they did to build the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> and we moved it. Grind the eye hook off. Sparks are flying all over the place in there. We're working up a sweat. No beer handy. Finally, after six hours, we got it into place. Hank uh, fabricated some brackets and bolted it into the wall. And there it is. Voila! It is now a full arena scoreboard. As you can see, it does work. The, the horn is, is now hardwired in, so when this counts down to zero, it'll automatically blast off for four to five seconds. And if you're not prepared, and I've been around it all day today, I'm still not prepared when it goes off. And now I'm slowly trying to collect the whole amount of hot sauces because I want us to do our own. Uh, I want us to do our. Own. It will. Uh, Great job, that looks amazing. It? it makes the floor look bigger. If you guys haven't seen yet, this is the 1700 hockey stick floor. Um, you know, from behind the bar, all around here. And all these NHL giant goal stick. Down and all these uh, TSN and ESPN and all these people, we can't get anybody over and we've been trying and nobody, and we're only three and a half, well, four minutes away from the arena. And uh, we can't seem to get them over here. You guys uh, leave a comment below um, on which NHLers would, do you think should come and attend uh, the Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave and check out some of the cool stuff that we've done, like the arena scoreboard that's mounted now, world's largest tabletop hockey game, or Coach's Corner, Stanley Cup, Hockey Memorabilia, 12-foot bar. That is an arena actual clock, so it's 6.30 here in, in Victoria. It looks absolutely great, Ken, and it's even better that I didn't have to do anything with it. <laughs> trying to get you over. I know, you're just like, hey, are you around? I'm like, if you had told me. I had me a legitimate excuse. I was actually working. Actually working. <laughs> she was, he was probably at the casino. Yeah. No, but you were in Sydney, though. Yeah. yeah couldn't you go? Well, I wasn't. Then I thought you was I was at home doing nothing. But I might, what we'll do is I'll clip to rate one seven minutes and 50 seconds of the horn going off, probably scaring the crap over herself. Oh, yeah. Let's do our no. <laughs> was that the hardest thing to move and do of all the creations you've done at the cave? Where does that sit? That's top five. That was, that was boring. That was boring. Well, hang up. Was it harder than the 12 foot bar? The shuffleboard bar? No. This was killer. Really? This was, this was really. Once again, I really like it because I wasn't there and had to do anything with it. I got a scot free out of not having to do any of this hard labor, just the digital stuff. Oh, make sure what we're going to do, leave a comment. Uh, below and at the beginning of our next videos we'll read your comment out and put it at the bottom I've seen a lot of people doing this on YouTube videos I think it's a really good way to keep you guys engaged and your comments make sure it's you know something fun or nice or nothing can you see the screen yeah you can try not to be locked out by it Jeez. I thought I'd just throw the camera on and record us being us. It's just us. It's uh, nothing. It's a show about nothing. <laughs> just talking? Well, what's the show about? It's about nothing.
No story? No, forget the story. You gotta have a story. Who says you gotta have a story? Please like and subscribe um, and hit the bell. Whatever else you need to do. I think I miss doing the vlogs. I think it's one of the things I miss kind of the most is, is the vlogs. Because there's so much fun, kind of creative stuff with it. We do a lot of screwing around. Hope, so far, actually, I don't think I have to bleep out you very much than this one. Sorry. Not as much. I don't think. <laughs> he swears a ton. I'm the one who has to edit it and put in the bleeps. Right. Jordy, clip to a scene where Ken has a lot of bleeps, right? Now. Um, but generally, I would just love to have the vlog be a consistent thing. I have so much fun doing it. I have a great time shooting. The camera loves Ken for some reason. <laughs> Thank you guys. Make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. We're going to be reading the comments at the beginning of next year. This is the vlog energy. I'm pumped. Let's just call it a night. It's way too late. All right, we'll see you guys next time from the Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave. That scoreboard is gorgeous!